but straight off the internet, here's one of my did live. I looked all about, a strange sight I did see, no tinsel, no presence, not even a tree, no stocking by mantle, just boots filled with sand, on the hall, on the wall hung pictures of far distant lands, with medals and badges, awards of all kinds, a sober thought came through my mind, for this house was different, it was dark and dreary. I found the home of a soldier, once I could see clearly. The soldier lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor in this one bedroom home. His face was so gentle, the room in such disorder, not how I pictured the United States soldier. Was this the hero of whom I just read, curled up on a poncho, the floor for a bed? I realized the families that I saw this night owed their lives to these soldiers who were willing to fight. Soon, round the world, the children would play, and grown-ups would celebrate a bright Christmas day. They all enjoyed freedom each month of the year because of the soldiers like the one lying here. I couldn't help wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in a land far from home. The very thought brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees and started to cry. The soldier awakened, and I heard a rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. The soldier rolled over and drifted to sleep. I couldn't control it. I continued to weep. I kept watch for hours, so silent and still, and we both shivered from the cold night's chill. I didn't want to leave on that cold, dark night, the guardian of honor, so willing to fight. Then the soldier rolled over with a voice soft and pure, whispered, carry on, Santa. It's Christmas Day. All is secure. One look at my watch and I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friend, and to all a good night.